Welcome to another edition of Full Day Yu-Gi-Oh! The segment of my channel where I'm prepping for motherfucking regional. So, you guys already know we're in week three of my regionals prep. I've been doing a lot of play testing at locals, been going to locals every week. Haven't missed a week this yet, just yet. I wasn't able to go to local. It's Thursday right now. I was not able to go on Monday due to the holiday. So today I'm going today to see if I can compete in the meta with my hero deck that I just reinvented well not reinvented but i just modified took a lot of you guys advice took out summoner monk and added neo space connector only issue is i've tested the deck online and it's really good but i haven't picked up another neo space connector yet so i'm missing one neo space connector my tournament starts in 10 minutes and i have to build the deck and my all my stuff is like kind of splattered around in my book bag due to the fact that i bring you guys that lair of darkness deck profile check that out if you haven't seen it already for the layer of darkness uh, for 2018 so yeah man i'm all over the place just trying to get back to my competitive route of doing well in big events and i got a feeling i'm gonna win regionals like i used to do back in the day so with all that being said let's get into it without further ado let's begin ice on my wrist looking kind of cool bad bitch with me she ain't trying to move Niggas staring at me, what you trying to do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Um, on the, on the okay. All right, guys. So tournament's over. I lost round two against like anti-meta stun old school variant. What the fuck ever. So it went as follows. Okay, round one I played up against um, ABC. Right, crowded house today for the free day. Not surprised it's the free day. Round one I'm going against ABC. Epic game, good player. He plays different decks every week. He's probably getting ready. He's probably getting ready for regionals like me. And we went back and forth, and I ended up getting it just, just honestly, just out. I ain't gonna say out playing, but just the deck just doing a lot. My new Mass Hero deck can do a lot. Neo Space Connector raised the bar for the deck. And I just got a game three. Back and forth game. I just had the outs and was able to beat them. And I got lucky because I potted desires. Well, I'm a player, right? So the situation in game one, game three, where, no, round one, game three, where I brought out ISO. I didn't need to use the search part, the first effect. I really need to use the second effect. I was debating on not using the first effect because I was scared of him running Ghost Ogre. Did not see a game two or game three. And he, uh, he flinched in his hand to respond to an earlier play. So I'm like, uh, let me see if I could just use the first effect with the Wombo Combo Wombo. I thought I had a game, I had a good hand. He ended up going Ghost Ogre. I'm like, crap. So I had a Desires in hand, played Pot of Desires. Luckily, bro, luckily grew into a DDR, Different Dimension Burial, which allowed me to get back a, um, bring back my um, Destiny Hero Malicious. Cause I had two mass change in hand any anyway, and I was able to bring out my Dark Claw and beat him down because he was playing ABC. Round two, play they miss. Like I said, anti-meta stun variant, whatever. Old school kind of deck. Ran Needleworms, Morphin Jar. It was like a homebrew deck. No hate. Pretty cool dude. You know, I've been on him for a while. And I got him game one. You know, my deck's awesome. Game, like he sided the, the nuts against me, bro. Like game two, two he brought in King Tiger Wanku. And that deck, that card completely craps on heroes, bro. Craps on heroes because almost everything in heroes it's like a thousand or less. I couldn't do anything game two, he crippled me. Then game three, I thought I was trying to maneuver. And I just remember during game three, bruh, I did not have my twin twisters in my side deck. And he was running a back row heavy deck. I'm like, crap, I needed my twin twisters. So that's on me. I didn't have my deck prepared. My side deck was slapped together because I was rushing. Like I literally got here as the tournament was starting. Luckily made it. No excuse though, I lost a loss, right? So he got me game two of King of Tiger Wang who then game three he got me with a combination of ceasefire. I know, right? Ceasefire. And that earth um, mirror force that made everything face down. And then outside of that, he ended up having a spirit reaper on board with freaking Thunder King. I just got wrecked. Like I can 
like I'm pretty sure if I had a solid cyborg like twin twisters if I had I sighted in the um Panker Tribes I didn't see him in game two I didn't sight him in game three because I went first I'm pretty sure if I would have sighted in my twin twisters and opened them I'd have been decent what hurt me game three though against the um anti-meta player I'm thinking to myself oh my god how, what am I gonna do against this deck I'm like I open up I've been opening up good all day right I open up Vion Mally I'm like no bro no not Vion Mally so there wasn't much I can do against a normal deck. I'd have been able to survive, but he was playing like things like Mistaken Arrest, Thunder Kings. Like it was just weird. I didn't know what to expect, and I got that ass slapped. So I'm gonna go on Walgreens right now, pick up some Coca Cola, and I'm gonna go to the gym, get my workout in, and probably some wine. And I'll see you guys at the house to go over my deck and talk about today's tournament. Y'all stay tuned. So that Walgreens trip was a bust. Um, way too crowded in line was down there at the door. I said, I'm gonna head to the gym, so I ain't no point of going to Walgreens. Also, for you guys that may be wondering, the reason why I left um, the tournament after round two, because on Thursdays, it's free, so it's single elimination. So that's how they get the riffraff out of there, and then that's how they keep the tournaments to a minimal. But yeah, it had to be at least 30 or 40 people in there, man. It was insane today. I wanted to record a little bit of the venue, but it was so crowded and hot, and literally after I finished round one, I started round two. And then additionally after that, there was a few people who knew me, who was new there. I don't know if they came there because of me, but they wanted to speak to me from the YouTube channel. I spoke to a few people there. It was just a lot going on. And I didn't really have enough time to film on the inside. But yeah, that's the reason why for those who are wondering why I didn't, why I'm leaving early. I don't want y'all to think I'm salty or anything like that. You guys know I don't mind playing out every round. And I'm not the type of player that just leaves after he receives a loss. It was just one of them things where it's like, oh, single elimination, I lost. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym, get my workout in, and do what I gotta do. All right, man. So, yeah, man. See y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all. Back at home now. So, today's tournament was pretty fun. I'm really okay. I must satisfy with my results, obviously, because I only won round one and I got kicked out round two due to me playing it because I'm completely 100% rogue, anti meta stun deck. I don't even think he was using Inspector Board. But it made me realize that side decking is going to be king for the upcoming regionals on January 6th. I'm really nervous, but I'm pretty satisfied with my main deck for the most part. The fact I can use um, Neospatial and Connector as a tour guide is awesome. Like, I have not regretted adding that card to my deck at all. And I've played with it online, as you guys will see at the end of the video. I'm going to do some commentary, dual videos to show you guys what I've been working with. And I have not, um, you know, at locals today just played really good. Like, the only time I have issues is going second. Like, if I go first, I'm usually gonna win. Especially if I open up a connector, it's like GG No Re, it's Gumblar Darklaw. I know in some decks you can go Gumblar Darklaw for six. I have to see the combos in my deck to see if I can do it that way. But just the fact I can just go boom, 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 it's so consistent. Um, ABCs was was a um. It was a hefty deck to deal with. Um, I'm kind of scared of that deck now from playing against the set. Even though I beat it, um, if they go first and set up their board with the amount of link plays they can do, it's amazing. And, you know, just the random obscure decks. I've always been scared. Like, anytime I go to a big event, y'all, real talk, I'm always scared of those random obscure decks. So, I definitely know I should have had Twin Twister in my side deck that's on me. And, yeah, um, I was teching out Spiral Super Agent in the main deck today, and I see why Heroes and the OCG run it. It's so good because, you know, especially if you're not main decking things like Twin Twister, going into game one is having a super agent in your hand, knowing what your opponent can play, knowing what might come up in the next turn is keen. So definitely going to add Spiral Super Agent to the main deck for the regionals. As a one of right now, I'm debating on, I'm thinking about adding maybe another super agent to the main deck and maybe Spiral Resort for more searching. It's just a deck right now. It's a 40 card deck. It's so tight. I don't want to mess with it anymore i don't i don't think that it's gonna be good to play with like another thing um but other, other than that yo i think this main deck is definitely good to go ash blossom came in clutch today in my games and online as well so yeah man just perfecting that side deck man that's my main focus right now so right now towards the end of the video like i said i'm gonna um show you guys some dual clips of my practice from earlier a lot of you guys say you want to see me dueling these vlogs and 
I can't sit down and film at locals and focus at the same time, which is why I give you guys a little bit of snippets. But um, I can do, I can show you guys what I've been play testing with online, which I do practice what I preach. Even though I'm not doing the 40 to 50 hours a week, I am experienced with the hero deck. So I do give myself at least one hour of practice a day. And when I'm on my tar car, car day leading up to an event. So yeah, man, enjoy these dual clips. See you guys next week, which is in my final week before regionals. All right, man, and I'm out. As in the first little game right here, I'm gonna show you guys. The game is actually six minutes long, but you know, to spare you guys the boredom, because it was a pretty swifty game to say the least. I'm gonna show you guys how um, Neil Space Connector fixed um, this deck in general. Now, you guys already know I had a lot of issues with this deck with it clogging and bricking, and I didn't realize how Neil Space Connector being a one card, similar to Tour, Gu Tour Guide, fixed the issue by bringing out the Aqua Dolphin. You see, I got Mally in my hand right here, right? So I'm gonna use Aqua Dolphin's effect to pitch my Mally, which is huge, eat a card out of my opponent's hand, and I'm just gonna wombo combo off from here. And that was like my eureka moment, like, wow, you guys are right. Connector is broken. I was wrong. I was always a fan of Summoner Monk, but yeah, Space Connector 2 OP, man, 2 OP. So I'm not gonna stay too long in this um, in this video. It, you guys already know, I'm gonna just do my wombo combo, you know, the Dark Lock Gumblar, and it's pretty much gonna go downhill for my opponent right here from there here guys i'm gonna show you guys right here it's gonna be a, a pretty interesting duel against a guy i played earlier today named totally awesome he was using the phantasmal spiral deck and i'm using as you guys already know my hero deck now this is a pretty fun game i haven't played against this deck in probably forever if ever and he actually opened up the card of demise and i was super salty because i'm like oh my god usually when decks open up card of demise and they're setting their entire hand they're pretty much in a good position. Um, he set up the boar a set five, some monster pass. I'm like, yep, it's gonna be a pretty hard time. Now, I will um, tell you guys right now that in my build for the um, online variant, I was not main decking Spiral Super Agent, which I see was a mistake because you know, just at local today, show me the power on why the LCG ran a card. And as you guys can see right here, I'm just getting my, just getting like this wrecked by um. Fantasm Spirals, I didn't know they had all these traps that can engage stuff and just do all kind of stuff and it was just too much. I couldn't do anything. He had way too much control. I even tried Axe of Knighting, which resolved and it didn't matter because he had so much advantage over me. It's ridiculous. Like he knew what he was doing. Pretty good player. Um, Totally awesome if you're saying this. It was an awesome game that we had today. I don't know if he watches my channel or not. Usually when people watch my channel, they mention it. And I went for the desires, banished 10, to try to see if I can come back. And I don't think I'm gonna come back. I, oh, open desires, which is horrible. And I'm like, yep, he got too much advantage, another token, and I admit it to be. So I actually, actually, actually ran that game back because I felt like the main reason I lost because I went second. So I actually went first this time and then we're gonna see a completely different game. And I open up this connector, Aqua Dolphin, the, the stones, the nuts. Like, it's so good. This hand is amazing. And this is how the deck pretty much was playing at locals all day. Just unfortunately, I, I had one playing as a rogue deck that just went first and just shrieked me. But as you guys can see right here, like, I opened up pretty good to say the least. Like, just Gumblar, Dark Law, um, the, the Desires. Just, just really good. Like, it. Like, against any deck, 9 times out of 10, if you open up this good, they're going to lose. Now, obviously, if he would have had a Regeki, I would have been in a bad shape. But with that E-Call in hand, I had nothing to worry about. And I had the Ash Blossom on the defense. So, it's an overall solid hand, man. This just goes to show you, you definitely need these money cards. Nope, Ash Blossom. You definitely need these money cards to play um, Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively, or any game competitively, for that matter. And if you guys are wondering why did I not do anything with Dark Law, it's because he used Metaverse and added it to the field instead of adding it to his hand. And I was pretty much that's all she rose to GG no re they were very good very powerful So for all that being said man post your thoughts and opinions about today's vlog in the comment section down below Subscribe if you're happy. This is Innovation YJO and I'm signing out peace and sanity guys do 